Today's Friday. On Wednesday, my little maniac, Thero, comes home from school. And he tells my wife and I that he was in a fight. He said, I got in a fight today. And we said, well, what happened? And he said, I got in a fight with Henry. I was Red Hulk. I apologize. I was Green Hulk. Henry was Red Hulk. So I grabbed Henry by the hair, threw Henry down, and then Hulk smashed because that's what the Green Hulk does. And we hadn't heard from the school. The school never called or anything like that. So we assumed everything was fine, everything, you know, between he and Henry. And we kept saying, well, okay, now that we've got the details, hey, you can't fight. You, you cannot do that. And he said, but I won. I said, okay, yeah, but you can't fight. And he kept saying, but I won. I won the fight. Yeah, okay, I got that, but that he couldn't get off of that. He could not. He thought the entire point was because he won, this whole story was cool in the gang. And where we're at with our level of parenting, and he's only three and a half, is if you want to fight, you have to ask the other person if they want to fight, and then they must agree. Now, where that comes from isn't be, before you guys tell me the bad parenting on that. Yeah, I'm aware, but where that comes from is everything means fight to him. If he wants to go play ball, he'll say fight. If he wants to wrestle, that means fight. If, if he wants to read a book, he'll say, I want to go fight. So it's kind of like Smurf. I'll take a Smurf of this and a Smurf of that. He just applies the word to everything. But he fights with me every single night. Every single night, we have a fight. So we follow the etiquette of the fight, which is to, he has to ask Dada if I want to fight. And then I have to say yes before he comes and storms me. All right. So he said that he, he said he did ask Henry, and Henry did want to fight. And, uh, oh, okay, so the fight happened. All right, great. So th- this story is now put behind us. We talked to him about you can't fight. He keeps informing us he won. Put it behind you. That's two days ago. So I go to pick him up today from school, and I was early. I went and, I went and busted him out of there so we could go to McDonald's and uh, get some lunch. So when I go in to get him, he's sitting at a table. He's got a darling little girl at the table, handsome young man, and they're sitting around visiting when I come behind him. And so when he sees me, he jumps up, and then he goes and gets his jacket and gets his lunch, and we head out the door. That's kind of the way this goes. So when he sees me, he jumps up to go get his stuff. And the little girl was very mature. She stood up, extended her hand, and she said, Hello, I'm Henry. Let's go, oh, my goodness. Henry's a girl? So... We get outside of the classroom. The second that the door shuts, right there in the hallway of the school, I get down on a knee, so I'm looking him in the eye, and I said, son, you told me that you got in a fight with Henry two days ago. And he said, yeah, I did. I was Green Hulk. Henry was Red Hulk. And I said, Henry's a girl. And he said, no, she's not a girl. She's a boy. I said, no, no, son, she's a girl like your sister. She's a girl. He said, no, she's not a girl. She's a boy. And he says, you know, before you go any further with this, and I'm, I'm, I'm adding words to this, but he says, you know, before you go any further with this, I did not get in a fight with Henry. I was Green Hulk. Henry was Red Hulk, and they're both boys. You can go look that up, Dad. Both the Green Hulk and the Red Hulk are boys. So before you're going to take this up with me, it wasn't even me fighting. It was Green Hulk. <sighs> so you see the predicament I'm in. First off, that's funny. And that's very cute. But this is not a laughing matter. This is a teachable manner. But the little hustler had learned the system. I don't have a final analysis here. I'm just sharing you guys a funny story that I am currently seeking information on so that I can go home and deal with in a better fashion. He caught me off guard. I don't usually get caught off guard, particularly by a three-year-old.